What's up about panelists? Today we do 2022 number three. This is on enzymes and experimental design. So fireflies emit light when the enzyme luciferase catalyzes a reaction in which its substrate, luciferin, reacts to form oxyluciferin and other products, as you see in figure one. In order to determine the optimal temperature for this enzyme, scientists um, add ATP to a solution containing luciferin, luciferase, and other substances needed for the reaction. They measured the amount of light emitted during the first three seconds when it was carried out at different temperatures. So part A always asks you a biology question. Describe a characteristic of luciferase enzyme that allows you to catalyze reaction. So how do enzymes catalyze reactions? So catalyze just means to speed up a reaction. So how does an enzyme speed up a reaction? Well, it has an active site. And that active site is going to bind to the substrate and it's going to bring those reactants together. Um, and that way they're able to be in the appropriate conformation to be able to react. Um, and you can also say it has a charge that's compatible with the substrate. So the student says the characteristic of luciferase enzyme that allows it to catalyze reaction is a specific active site. The enzyme is amino acid and their R group interacts in such a way that gives the luciferase its unique structure and active, active site so that the substrate fits into that active site. And luciferase can catalyze the reaction by lowering its activation energy. <clears throat> so part B says identify the dependent variable. So this is given to you in the prompt. The independent variable is what the researcher is changing. And the dependent variable is what changed because of that. So what was the, the thing that was measured in the experiment? So if we go back to the prop, it says they then measured the amount of light emitted during the first three seconds of the reaction. So our dependent variable is this the amount of light emitted. And so student says dependent variable is the amount of light emitted during the first three seconds. And then part C says to state the null hypothesis. Null hypothesis is saying that the independent variable has no effect on the uh, reaction. So we have to go back to the prompt to see what was it that they were changing. So it says that the uh, light was measured um, in, during the first three seconds when it was carried out at different temperatures. So the researchers are changing the temperature and they're looking at how does the amount of light emitted different. So we're going to say that the temperature has no effect on the amount of light emitted because we should see the exact same response at each of our um, temperatures if the temperature had no effect. Um, so the null hypothesis is that temperature has no effect on the amount of light emitted by the reaction. So part D, so student claims that as temperature increases, there's an increase in the amount of light given off by the reaction in the first three seconds. Support the student's claim. So when they say support the student's claim, this is already known information. As you increase temperature, the reaction increases. They want you to explain why. Why do we see this correlation of increased temperature, increased reaction, or increased temperature, increased amount of light? Okay, And it has to do with the kinetic energy of the molecules. As that kinetic energy increases, um, we're going to see that there's going to increase in the frequency of the collisions. There's more interaction between these molecules, and that increases the reaction rate. Um, you could also say the higher temperature results in a change in the active site that enhances the substrate binding. Um, so, yeah, those are the two things you could put. So the student said, with an increase in temperature, substrate molecules have more kinetic energy, so they move around faster, making it more likely that the substrate molecule will bump into um, or get pushed into the luciferase enzyme and bind to the enzyme's active site, undergoing reaction, and emit light. So hope that was helpful. Remember, it's about a pain with just by all.